Pilot car driving isn't necessarily a job that you hear a lot about, but it's an important one nonetheless. They help keep everyone on the road safe when wide body trucks are carrying massive loads, which could be things like aircraft parts and mobile homes. Pilot car drivers typically travel in front of or behind these trucks and are equipped with things like flashing lights and sirens to alert traffic and clear a path. Becoming a pilot car driver isn't a very difficult thing to do, and you may be surprised at how flexible and lucrative this job can really be. Plus, it takes little to no experience to get started. In many parts of the United States, you don't even need to hold a high school diploma. And contrary to what you might think, you can do this gig without having to seek out full-time employment, which means you may get to make your own schedule as an independent contractor. All things considered, this is one of the best little-known side hustles out there. As long as you have a valid driver's license and a desire to make some money on the side, stay tuned to learn about how you can get started as a pilot car driver. Pilot car driver gig basics. As mentioned, as a pilot car driver, it will be your responsibility to escort trucks carrying oversized freight to their destinations. The duties you will be expected to perform will vary, but generally speaking, you can expect to alert other drivers of an upcoming load while surveying the road ahead and communicating with the truck driver via radio to warn them of potential obstacles and hazards. Pilot cars are fitted with bright neon signs, flashing lights, flags, and sometimes a siren system. This kind of equipment is required by the state to be used on pilot vehicles at all times. Since safety is the name of the game, you'll frequently see pilot cars tailing behind the oversized load in order to alert approaching drivers of the situation. It might be seen as overkill, but considering that even the slightest mistake can lead to disastrous consequences, there's no such thing as too safe here. And because the job is so necessary for safety, you'll be compensated quite well for your time. Pilot car driver pay. There isn't really a simple answer to how much you can make as a pilot car driver. It will largely depend on what route you choose to take when getting started, as it can vary state to state and company to company. Plus, you can either work for an established company or for yourself. Since almost all you need to do the job are a valid driver's license, a reliable vehicle, and some basic training, it's not hard to do this for yourself as an independent contractor. If you accept a job with a pilot car company, you can expect to make around $34,000 a year on average. Working for yourself, however, gives you much more potential to control your income and your work schedule, but it can take a bit more time to get started. Independent pilot car drivers typically earn around $200 for the first 100 to 150 miles. After that, they make an additional $1.30 to $1.50 per mile. According to Payscale, the average pilot car driver earns about $16.34 an hour. While this might seem a little low, it's worth noting that you'll usually be compensated for things like fuel, food, and lodging. Companies that don't offer a stipend for these expenses tend to pay more to make up for it. More experienced pilot car drivers report making upwards of $30 to $40 an hour. So that $16 an hour figure mainly applies to those just getting started in the industry. The top 10% of full-time pilot car drivers earn roughly $100,000 a year, while the bottom 10% make as little as $30,000 a year. The cool thing is there is no salary cap for pilot car drivers. So as long as there's trucks on the road, you can work as much or as little as you want. Pilot car driver requirements. Different states have different sets of rules and regulations for pilot car drivers. At the very least, you'll need to hold a valid driver's license, be at least 18 years of age, or 21 in some states, carry vehicle liability insurance, and speak fluent English. Beyond that, you might need to take a defensive driving course. Some companies also require the drivers to hold a class A, B, or C commercial driver's license. Most states don't require pilot car drivers to get any kind of special certification, but as of 2022, 12 states require pilot car drivers to obtain a certification by taking a one-day course and passing a written exam. The pros and cons. There are quite a few selling points that make becoming a pilot car driver a great side hustle. The number one would probably be having a ton of control over your income and getting to make your own hours by choosing which assignments you want to do. Plus, driving a pilot vehicle can be very rewarding. A lot of drivers report feeling a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction after helping escort a large load safely to its destination. It's also a fairly straightforward gig that only requires you to drive around and keep the truck drivers up to speed about road conditions and hazards. If you enjoy long drives, it could be a great fit for you. And if you choose to take on long haul assignments, you'll get to see parts of the nation that you likely wouldn't have otherwise. In this way, driving a pilot car can be a great way to earn a living while maintaining a somewhat nomadic lifestyle. But there are a few negatives to consider too. Since you'll likely be using your personal vehicle for work, this means you'll be putting a lot of wear and tear on your car. If you end up accepting work from a company that doesn't compensate for repairs and fuel, this can add up very quickly. After all, you'll be racking up a ton of miles as a pilot car driver. Not only will your vehicle take a beating on long haul trips, but your body might as well. Pilot car drivers spend long hours sitting down. 
and sitting in one position for long periods has been proven to lead to adverse health effects and can take a serious toll if you're putting in long hours for many consecutive days or weeks. Of course, you can counter this by getting in some physical activity, such as weightlifting or stretching, during your off hours. The last major con of working as a pilot car driver has to do with the fact that work is only available when there is a need. Unless you live near a highly populated area with lots of transportation companies, it may be difficult for you to find assignments during certain times of the week, month, or year. How to get started. If you don't intend to work for a pre-existing pilot car company and instead want to start your own, first things first, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the local and state regulations for pilot car drivers. This is where you'll want to determine what the age requirement is in your state if you're under 21 and find out what kind of commercial driver's license you'll need, if any. Check with your state department of transportation to figure out if you'll need any special training or certifications. Even if they don't require these things, you might want to consider opting for training to learn all of the latest industry standards and best practices. Not only will this knowledge equip you to be a better pilot car driver, but it will also inspire confidence in your clients. Next, you'll want to decide what vehicle you'll be using. Vehicles should be at least 2,000 pounds with a 360 degree viewing radius from the driver's seat. After you've determined what vehicle you'll be using, you'll need to equip it with the proper safety equipment required by your state. This involves fitting your vehicle with things like warning signs, flashing amber lights, and safety flags. As far as insurance goes, you'll need to acquire at least commercial auto coverage. This step is non-negotiable as all states require it. You should also have pretty decent liability insurance regardless of whether your state requires it. Last but not least, you'll need to obtain a work permit. Since you'll be running your own business, this permit legally allows you to work as a pilot car driver in your state. After you've checked all of these items off of your list, it's time to find clients. To do this, you'll need to network with trucking companies in your area in order to build your name and reputation. If you know anyone that has worked as a pilot car driver before, ask them to give you advice and hook you up with their connections. A great resource to sign up for real-time job alerts for pilot car drivers is pilotcarloads.com. Simply set up an account, download the app, and you'll receive live notifications whenever pilot car driver jobs are available. Get paid to drive. Becoming a pilot car driver might not be the right gig for everyone, but if you're someone that wants to set their own hours while getting paid to travel, it's definitely worth looking into. Of course, it's not the only way you can get paid to drive. Be sure to check out our videos on car wrap advertising or starting a Toro car rental business for more on how you can get paid to drive. We'll see you in the next video.